I coded a Forex robot that predicts whether the market will go up or down and it worked. So let's see if my trading robot can make more money than my own technical analysis. So in the left corner, we have technical analysis. In the right corner, we have robot predictions. So the hardest part of this entire video is getting enough data. It really, it honestly took forever. I initially wanted to write like an artificial intelligence robot predictor, but very, very soon realized that to make that artificial intelligence model work, I would probably need around a thousand pieces of information. In other words, a thousand trades. I had to course correct, so I gathered the data for around 30 days worth of trading. So just a quick rundown of the strategy that I'll be using in this robot. Instead of using technical analysis, I'll be taking a trade at exactly the same time every single day. I'll use the same take profit and the same stop loss in terms of pips every single day. Once it hits 170 pips in profit, stop loss is put to break even. And once it hits a really clear support and resistance zone, I'll take out 90% of the trade and leave 10% running with a stop loss at break even. For each trade, I gathered the following data. The open price of the day, the close price of the day, the high of the day, the low of the day, whether the previous day ended higher or lower, and then whether a buy or sell was profitable. So I took all those data points for 30 days and I put it into my database. For the technical guys out there, I'm just using a normal SQL database. And then I started with the fun part, which was coding the robot. Once again, for the technical people, I'm just using normal C-sharp coding. And the robot basically works something like this. When you open it up, it gives you a quick summary of what has worked over the past 30 days or so. Secondly, it then asks you for the open price of the current day, the London price of the current day, and whether the previous day ended higher or lower. And then it gives you a suggestion whether you should buy, sell, or just don't trade at all. I'm trading NASDAQ 100, just because it's really addictive and it's really volatile. Okay, so it's one day before I start trading and, and honestly guys, uh, this has been harder than I thought it would have been. I'm struggling to really see a pattern, a solid pattern at London session open. And that's making it really hard to code the robot. But I still have quite a few hours left and I'm gonna keep going and you know, hopefully we get something that works by tomorrow. So it's day one of trading and just a heads up guys, I am a software developer. I'm not a day trader. So just remember that when you judge my technical analysis that I'll be showing you over the next five days of trading. Using very elementary basic trading techniques, this is what I can see from day one's chart. Overall, there was a bit of an uptrend, but it made a counter trend line. So what would be great is if it breaks it. It broke a resistance, came back for the retest, and gave me divergence, which is something I really liked to trade when I did day trade. So of course, with that kept in mind, I took a buy once it broke the counter trend line. And the buy worked, it was profitable, which is a great start, right? That's a great start for day one in technical analysis. So now let's go to the robot for day one's trade. I told the robot whether the previous day ended higher or lower. I told it today's open price and I gave it the price that the London session started at. It then actually gave me this suggestion. In the past, trades like this worked out for both buys and sells. And the ROI for those trades, for both buys and sells, was exactly the same. So it, of course, can't tell me to buy or sell. So it basically said, flip a coin or do some technical analysis. I don't have a coin, so I used technical analysis. And I already did that, so of course, it's also a buy, meaning we have a tie, 340 pips, for both technical analysis and the robot. Let's hope day two the robot gives more specific advice. As I'm analyzing on day two, I just realized again why I don't day trade anymore. It's just so unpredictable. I switch to long-term investing, which is just, I believe, way more feasible and just way more relaxing on the soul. I looked at the chart on day two, and although yesterday was quite straightforward, today's chart kind of just looked Bad. There was no real trend, it was kind of consolidating, no real break and retest, nothing like that. So since there was no real indication, I decided to skip this one. So no trade for technical analysis on day two. Let's see what the robot does. 
I'm actually really interested to see what the robot will do with the data it gets today. Once again, I entered the data and this was what the robot said. It replied with, don't trade, which is great, but why did it say that? So I coded this robot to tell you to don't trade if all of the previous trades that look like this one ended up in mostly losses. So if you count all the losses and the wins of trades that look like this one from the past, it ended up in a total loss. And that's for buys and sells. So yeah, day two, no trades occurred, guys. Sorry about that, but I mean, I, I guess that's better than losing. On day three, we can clearly see there's way less consolidation than on day two, and there's a bit more of a trend forming, which is exciting, it's, it's great. The ideal situation in this chart would be that we break the 12,080 resistance zone, come back for a retest, and give some type of divergence to indicate a good entry point. But it did not do that. And since we're following a trading plan, unfortunately, no trade for technical analysis. Now clearly we know this is a buy and I'm actually quite worried that the bot will say sell or don't trade. So once again, putting in the data, open price, London price and whether the previous day was higher or lower and it just said buy, which is amazing, right? It got the trade correct. Once again, all my take profits are 340 pips. Stop loss is 170 pips. And once it reaches 170 pips in profit, I put stop loss at break even. Or when it reaches some type of support and resistance zone, I take some profit out, 90% of the profit, and leave 10% running. Unfortunately, in the situation, there was no real support and resistance zone. So I just left it running. It hit 170 pips in profit, and then it came back hitting us out at break even. And then it shot up like 500 or something pips. So sadly it's a break even, but I mean it called the trade. I'm happy. At the end of day three, we are still at a tie at 340 pips for both technical analysis and the robot predictor. We are on the second last day of trading, day four. Now for technical analysis, I can see that there's been a big drop on NASDAQ 100, but also from experience, I also know that just because something fell doesn't necessarily mean it will keep on falling. Anyways, there's more or less enough confirmation to take the sell, so I'm taking the sell. And within like just a few minutes, it hit the 340 pips take profit. So technical analysis now takes the lead with 680 pips in profit. So once again, putting in the data, previous day ended lower. Open price is 11,956. London price is 11,853. And it said, you should buy. It was probably bound to happen. This is our first loss on the robot, a loss of 170 pips, putting the robot at a total of 170 pips profit and technical analysis at 680 pips profit, way in the lead. Day five, it's our final day of trading and it's the final chance of the robot to catch up to technical analysis. And today's chart looks really, really interesting. Overall, it's trending a bit upwards, so I'm looking to place a buy. Unfortunately, it gave me no indication to buy. It never broke a resistance, came back to retest. There was no divergence, no real trend line. It just gave me nothing. I knew it was biased, but there was no indication. I might have seen a little bit of a W pattern, but it's not part of my trading plan. So unfortunately, guys, no trade. Again, for technical analysis. It did, however, have a massive drop right at London session open, and I really do hope the robot catches this one. So once again, putting in the data, yesterday closed higher, the open price was 12.020, and the London price was 12.016. And now, for the moment of truth, you should sell. So yes, it won the trade. As the rules state, when it reaches 170 pips, you put stop loss at break even. And if it reaches a prominent support and resistance zone, you take 90% of the trade in profit and leave 10% running. It hit a really prominent support zone, wicked it twice, and that's when I decided we take out 90% of the profit, getting around 250 pips profit and leaving the other 10% running, which hit break even eventually. So we have our results. In the left corner, we have technical analysis with a total profit of 680 pips. In the right corner, we have the robot predictions at a total of 420 pips. So does this mean the robot lost? 
Well, sort of, yeah. But keep in mind, I only have 30 days worth of trades in my database. Imagine if I have a thousand trades in the database. It's gonna be way more profitable because it can be way more accurate over the long run. And on the other hand, as we all know, technical analysis can get really emotional. So usually it won't go as well as it did in this video. And the nice thing with a two to one reward to risk ratio, you just need to win like 50% of the time and you'll be really profitable. I still have faith in my robot. And to prove it to you guys, if this video hits 4,500 likes and my channel hits 5,000 subscribers, I'll put in real money in a broker account and try this robot with live real money. So like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Cheers.